We are the Arium Sisters. Three sisters who love to sing. Last year, we were lucky enough to be able to travel around the world, including Amsterdam, Sweden, Dubai, Washington, D.C., Oakland, Montgomery, Salt Lake City, and most importantly, Eritrea. Uh, I'm excited, leaving Dubai, going to Asmara, going to Africa, the motherland. I've always dreamed about this, finally uh, getting my opportunity and uh, to perform with Arab Sisters at the Sawa Festival. From Seattle, Washington in the U.S., we came with our parents and our manager to not only perform, but to learn a lot about Eritrea and have fun. We were honored to perform with a group of talented Eritrean artists known as Eri Artista as part of the celebration for the 2010 Sawa Youth Festival. It was so hot in Dubai, so we were so glad to be boarding our flight to Asmera. And here we are in Asmera. Uh, hi, we just got to the hotel. We're in Asmara, finally, and it's not hot. From the hotel, we went directly to see our family. Words can't explain how excited we were to finally make it to Etra to see all of our family and friends and participate in such a meaningful festival. This is the picture! Wow, look at that! Right now, we are going to watch Robert <laughs> drinking his first bit of... Of... Here I go. <laughs> Robert definitely got the full air chain experience. Poor Robert. We're at the recording studio in Asmara. Uh, Arab sisters about to record for the uh, open ceremony. Uh, they're about to pre-record everything now. And uh, come on in, you'll see more of what's going on behind the scenes. Hope you enjoy it. It was so much fun for us to be able to record and sing a song with air train artists that we'd always looked up to. Air Artista included many talented performers like Winta Efrem, Laina Tadese, Saba, Betty, Bimnet, Walid, and Ruta. And when we finally finished recording, we got to sit down as a group and listen to the whole song. Thank you, Adma Studio. The wind swept far away horizon. Finally, it came time for us to head to Sawa. We decided to take a big bus so we could experience the beauty of Ertra all together. And considering we were in Africa during what we thought was the summer, we didn't expect all the rain and fog. But hey, that's what makes Etra such a beautiful country. Not just a place, a read of the, a the winding road scared Robert a bit, and heaven too. So we started singing to calm our nerves. And we kept singing and singing. Harmonies, harmonies! What a beautiful landscape on our way to Kuna. But at the same time, it's so scary that we had to sing, I will survive. We had to stop and take pictures. The view was gorgeous. Seeing the entire village below us was incredible. Surprise! It is absolutely beautiful. That is a, we had to stop here. This is a beautiful view of the uh, country of Eritrea. It is absolutely gorgeous. The mountains, the little kids walk all the way up from the mountains. They walk all the way up to see us. And now they're taking pictures. That is really, 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 really beautiful. Bye. I feel happy. I feel what? 
heaven's fear had still not gone away. As we continued driving and driving, we began to realize that the rain was not normal and it really didn't want to go away. We were told that in the past 20 years, it had never rained this hard in Etra. So here we stopped in El Abered and we did the only thing we could do, eat. The chilled velas was delicious. We finally arrived in Karan and ate lunch at a beautiful hotel. With full stomachs, we headed towards downtown Karan. While our friends were shopping, we already started walking towards Aguarte. Back on the bus, we continued our journey and our singing, but the rain would still not stop. The rain got so bad that it soaked down the mountains, causing mud and rock slides to fall out on the roads. In some areas, the entire roads were covered by mudslides. But so far, so good. Heaven, heaven. She had so much fun. This was the best experience she's ever had. This is the best experience of your life. This is the worst experience of ever. Oh my god. Trust me, it was the best. So you've seen that we've ran into a few problems, but this one was seriously testing our determination to reach Sawa. So we had to pull up our sleeves and face the challenge that every air train meets on a daily basis, overcome obstacles. Houston, we have a big problem. Actually, it's a good thing, because it's raining a lot in Eritrea at the moment, which is a good thing for the fertile, so it's going to get all green. But it means that we can't, unfortunately, get to our destination, so we got to stop here and not with it. It's been a night, but we're not the only ones thinking the same thing, so we don't know where we're going to sleep. We're stuck. Sure, sure, we're stuck. Powerful. Okay, don't panic. Stuck like Chuck. <laughs> oh, there were floods and, uh, on the road, so we can't get through until, uh, until it's uh, available to move through. So it might be all the way tomorrow, so we've got to sleep here tonight. We'll get there. It'll take a little longer, we'll get there. Once arriving in Aquadet, we ran into a group of local children. Seeing that we come from two different worlds, and yet we're still able to smile, laugh, and sing together, proved that music truly is a universal language. You fill me up with emotion. You fill me up with emotion. Isn't he so cute? After spending the night in Akordat, we woke up early in the morning and were back on our way. The amount of rain Ertra received was so incredible that it even made the asphalt roads and bridges unpassable. This slowed down our journey and gave us the perfect opportunity to take a nap. 
So we decided to detour and try out the dirt road that goes to Sawa through Mogorai. We ain't moving, there's a flood and nobody's going nowhere until those trucks, those trucks over there handle the flood over there, the blue. Wow, wow. Well, yeah, I had, uh, I had. This posed a bigger problem, not only for Eri Artista, but for the thousands of people heading to Sawa. Fortunately, bigger machines were deployed and people worked for hours on clearing the road so we could all cross the river safely. This gave us a chance to socialize with Eri TV and sing for them. Since all the buses could not cross the river on their own, we had to be pulled through one by one. It was a pretty intense experience. Split the weight. 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 Don't jump, but split the weight. <laughs> Split the weight, split the weight. No, no, no screaming. Oh, that's okay. Get it out of the It will be okay. Don't. Don't. No, no, but you have to go. Hey, Betty. Oh, you have to go. Oh, you have to go. Oh, you Oh, they're saying turn, turn. Yeah. Hey, you tell me, you tell me. Marshal, Marshal, what's going on there? Oh, they're going to do it. 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 Oh, Back and we finally made it. We were one of the first buses who got to cross to the other side. This is the most adventurous, I mean, ridiculous adventurous moment of my life. I'm sure it's everybody's life as well. Oh my god. This is, this is the real stuff. Like, it can't get any more. This. this is Mother Nature. This is Mother Nature right here. And Somehow, some way, we crossed it. We, we crossed the river. Yeah. We soldiers, we survivors. The next river. There is only one. Mogorai River is coming. That was the last river. That was the last one. Come on, let it be the last. <laughs> we have to admit, we were a bit scared. Never did we believe that our trip to Sawa would bring us this many challenges. But how many people in the world can say that they have overcome this many obstacles? This shows how Eritrean's hard work and determination can make anything possible. We did it. We made it to Keru for some good tea. Hello. 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 Hello.
we are on top of the world. No, we're in Sawa. Yes, we finally arrived in Sawa, and we got to enjoy a great meal at the Sawa Hotel. Uh, sleeping quarters for the Arista artists in Sawa. This is where they're going to stay. We're excited. We're finally here in Sawa. Six o'clock in the morning, almost with the sun. Thousands and thousands of Eritrean families from all around the world, including Sweden, Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, the U.S., Canada, everywhere, had woken up, arrived in Sawa, and were ready to watch the opening ceremony for this huge festival. The actual performance was way beyond what we ever imagined in our dreams. Seeing so many Eritrean youth in one place from all around the world come together for this festival to celebrate our culture, history, and remember our roots was one of the most significant moments of our lives, and one that we'll never forget. Oh. celebrated. What a beautiful sight. Literally, everyone from the students to the performers to the audience all came down for this moment, where we all could dance with each other and celebrate together. It's hard to describe the power of a moment like this, but all we can say is we've never been more proud of being Eric Chan than at that very minute. It leaves an everlasting impression of belonging to people who are incredibly hardworking, resourceful, with amazing inner beauty. Also, it was nice to see and meet many of our Facebook and MySpace friends from all over the world who supported us through our musical career. We got a little lost among all the people but we eventually found our way. This finished the uh, Sawa uh, festival, the opening ceremony, uh, and I'm just so overjoyed, so amazed to see the excitement, the magic of the music, the uh, military exercise, uh, the drama, uh, the show. Uh, everything was so beautiful. I I've never seen nothing like that in the world. The people of uh, Sawa Eritrea put on a spectacle of uh, tremendous uh, proportion and this beautiful, friendly, everybody just has fun out here, no issues. I I'm just so happy uh, to be here. It makes my heart more joy to see uh, what's going on here uh, in uh, Sawa. And uh, people so helpful, so kind, uh, anything you want, uh, friendly, smile. Uh, <laughs> You, uh, I'm just so happy to be here. The weather's so great. Very exciting. Beautiful colors. People here from all over the world came to see this event. Beautiful. I'm amazed. I'm still like 
It's like a dream. I love it. Sour rocks. Yeah. It was off the hook. Amazing, amazing, absolutely one of a kind. It is unforgettable. Epic. It's a hot dream, a really hot dream. I'm enjoying her line. It's a hot dream. It's so exciting. The best thing. I couldn't ask for anything more. Awesome. It's a great experience. Love it. Incredible experience. This is probably the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. All in all, awesome. And it got even better. Salam Salam! Salam United K! Salam Germany! Salam Norway! Salam Sudan! Salam Sweden! to come back to the motherland, you're a trail home. We have waited to come back. We are so happy. We are so happy. I am happy my first time in Africa to Eritrea. Thank you so much. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. After coming back to Asmara, we spent some time with the children at the orphanage center and later organized a concert to support them. And we pledged to support them even more. And we would like to take this opportunity to ask everyone to visit and donate to support these kids. This trip was the most unforgettable moment of our lives and we could not wait to come back to Asmara. The children at the orphanage and the air trained people to celebrate another historic day. In a world where I have to hide my heart and what I believe in, but somehow I will show the world what's inside my heart and be love for who I am.